Begin tonight with a crash on Long Island that left five people dead. Four of the victims were in one car, three passengers and an Uber driver. The driver of the other car was involved, also killed in the collision. The accident happened in Quag at Montauk Highway and Quag Street. It appears the two vehicles hit head on in a curve. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan live in Manhasset for us with the very latest on this. Jennifer. Christine and Dick, good evening. The young victims, revered and talented here and respected in Manhasset and out east, so well known in the classroom and on the field. Many enjoying their first post college jobs and doing the right thing by ordering an Uber at night for safe transport. Anguished friends and relatives returned to the devastating scene with tearful gestures of support, unable to fathom that five young people are dead and a sixth is clinging to life following a weekend head-on crash on a curve along Montauk Highway in the village of Quag. And they did everything right. They absolutely did everything right. It's just unbelievable. It's unfathomable. The Keese has lost their only son and the Farrells lost two out of three of their boys. And we're all praying for Brianna. The hamlet of Manhasset is in mourning. The tragic collision claimed the lives of two brothers and their best friend. All were three sports stars at Manhasset High and went on to college stardom. 20-year-old Michael Farrell, 25-year-old James Farrell, 25-year-old Ryan Keyes, Ryan's 22-year-old girlfriend Brianna Maglio of Garden City, a neonatal nurse who played college lacrosse at Scranton, remains critical. The four had been celebrating the Keyes' new Remsenburg home, picked up after the family party called an Uber at 11 p.m. to take them dancing in nearby Southampton. Experienced Uber driver, 32-year-old Farhan Saeed, a father of three, responded in his Toyota Prius. It's a big loss, you know. It's just unbelievable. I can't even imagine that he's not, he's no more. I still think that he's around me and he's coming back. As Farhan drove eastbound through Quag, his Uber was struck head on by 22 year old driver and sole occupant of a Nissan Maxima, Justin Mendez of Shirley, who apparently veered into oncoming traffic. Quag police are determining if excessive speed was the cause. His parents are devastated. I don't know how, what happened. But I don't want anyone to think anything lesser of my son, because he was not, he was a good boy. He was our everything. He didn't live to see this because the guilt would have just chewed him up. He probably would not have been able to function knowing that he took somebody else's life. My son was very humble. State police are assisting Quag police with accident reconstruction and plan to hold a briefing tomorrow as parents and loved ones try to come to grips with this. We're live tonight in Manhasset, Long Island. Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. Christine and Dick, back to you. Heartbreaking all around, Jennifer. Thank you.